Hi guys, I'm putting a battery in my uh, avalanche. I forgot to show you taking it out, but do who? This thing was super dead. Ooh, I ain't got this bitch warranted. New battery. All right, and this has just got a single hold down. It'll go right there. Now you probably can't see it, but there's a hole there that fits a bolt. <sighs> so the battery goes back in. Make sure you got your cables clear. Slide her all the way back there. First thing you always want to do is put your hold down in. Get the battery secure, that way you're not fighting it later. Because it's going to fit where it's supposed to fit. If you're fighting it that hard, then you probably don't have it right. Especially the older the vehicle, the easier it is. Alright. So, with that hold down in, we'll go to our wires. We got two of them ground and power. Ground fits to the ground because it stretches that far. Power puts to the power because it stretches that far. So, I mean, pretty self explanatory. If you have to stretch it, then you either got your battery backwards or you got your wires backwards. Or you just don't know what you're doing. Any of those three is a possible option. Oh, yeah, I have these because of the side battery terminals, they're like extended. Easier to take on and off. Be careful with battery terminals. They're all made of lead. Even the inside battery terminal is made of lead. Why aren't you tightening? There we go. Now tighten it completely by hand. Make sure she's snug. Stick the ground wire on here. Got me a little spark there. That's okay. And then I'm going to take my pliers and wrap them around them. And just snug them up. Not tight. Just snug twist. Snug twist. Snug. Twist. Twist your terminals. If they don't twist, you're good to go. Let's see if she'll start. Gotta figure out which keys to use. <laughs> 